My name is Henrik Urlal. I'm from Norway, adopted from South Korea and living in London. Right now we're in a studio in southwest London uh, in Clapham Junction. I've been here for maybe half a year, but I've been in London for almost seven. I started painting when I was 19 years old with oil paints. I've always been into art and I've always been um, drawing, uh, trying out different mediums, but it's never really been my thing. I, I've enjoyed it, but never saw a, uh, a, a profession in it until I found oil painting when I was 19. And after that, that was it. I was, uh, it was a revelation to me. When I first started painting with oils, what struck me with the medium was the ability to refine things and spend a lot of time on details. It was such a great feeling. Um, whereas before I would have to rush into it with acrylics because it dries so quickly. Uh, what I love about Michael Harding paints is the, the technique I use right now goes so well with the quality of the pigments. So usually I would stretch the paint really thin with uh, solvents or impasto medium. Um, but with this, these paints, they seem to be as vibrant as before, even when they're stretched really thin, which is incredible. In my production, I usually have a black and white base where I would, I would, the bulk of the paint would be uh, black and white and then I would add colors to it. The Michael Harding paint is so high quality, so it, it changes the, 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 the base color quite drastically. So it's actually a really money saving thing as well as being high quality because uh, that bulk paint um, instead of using tons of, of color to, to change the, change this space, I can just use a little, uh, the edge of a brush and, and it changes completely. Uh, it really works well with, with how I paint in that sense. And, um, and when I mix, uh, the paint with solvents and impasto mediums, all these things <clears throat> still stays brilliant and vibrant. My favorite color is probably alizarin crimson, which is a red, but a very cool red. I'm always fascinated by these kind of mid tones where you, where you, you have a color that's either warm or cold, but then you find a cold version of warm or a warm version of cold. And these can really uh, affect the tension in the paintings. Lizard and Crimson is incredible. It's like this hidden gem that I try to add in anywhere and it just makes the painting pop. I feel that using Michael Harding products has allowed me to experiment more in my process, which has uh, made me progress uh, quite a bit actually uh, in the last couple of years. Uh, it allows me to allows me more freedom in mixing colors, but also in uh, applying them and, and stretching them thin. And I don't find the 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 materials to be a limitation anymore. And I don't think it ever should be 